Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Morehouse's Blonde Bitch. What kind of name is that? Blonde Bitch. I bought this at <laughs> Hey, I bought this at Dorgnax. And they specialize in some off-the-wall beer brands, let me tell you now. This company, Morehouse, they said was started in the 1800s, but um, it was a mineral water company. They sold mineral water, then the original owner died. And uh, just over 100 years ago, in the early 1900s, they started with beer. Um, there were no video reviews for this beer that I could find anywhere. I mean, they, you look up Blind Bitch on YouTube and you get some crazy videos that got nothing to do with beer. They have a lot to do with bad behavior, but uh, this will be the first video review for this beer, to my knowledge, in the world! And as far as written reviews, they have, what, 12 on Beer Advocate and 31 on Rape Beer, so 43 written reviews in the whole world. This will be 44. Uh, brewed and bottled in England, imported by St. Killian Importing of Kingston, Massachusetts. Now, I looked up on the St. Killian website, and they don't even have Blonde Bitch listed. They got Blonde Witch. Same label. I've saw pic I've seen pictures on the Internet. Same label, but different name, Blonde Witch. So um, maybe this company came under some, uh, you know, people were criticizing it. You know, they might have come under some criticism saying, that's a terrible label. This is a war on women and all of that. Well, I agree. It's a stupid name. Um, the label's not the greatest looking thing. It's kind of a low quality cartoon, really. Like you would see in a cheaper comic book, I guess. Um, not to put down the artist, that's just my impression of it. It says it's brewed with Fuggles hops. They don't say anything else. Fuggle hops, malted barley, yeast, and it has a light color. I don't know. I saw it and I said, oh well, heck, I'll buy it. As bad as it sounds. I don't have much experience with Mars or Morehouse Brewing, I'll say that. Actually, I have no experience. <laughs> but I like to pass by Dorgnax from time to time. And they will have stuff that's rare. Like that La Bette de Bourges. That was only, I've never seen that beer anywhere else. It's kind of a greenish brown bottle. It's brown, you know, that European brown. There's no date. There's some kind of obscure code, or not obscure, that doesn't fit, but a, a strange code, nothing to do with a date. It says Best Buy L2177. So, you want to drink it by 2177? <clears throat> That's a lot of age. Um, no kind of head. A little bit of white foam. Orange juice looking thing or apricot juice or whatever kind of juice. Now with the light from outside, this thing is loaded with sediment. It cannot be filtered, can it? I mean, I just see chunks, and I mean chunks, like oranges, brown chunks in this orange gold thing. It might be old, and Dorgnax is a, a store that will put exceptionally old beers on the shelf. Oh yeah, it smells old, like cellared, old. aged. But on the other hand, it's sort of stereotypical English, that cellar mold, that strange hoppiness, which I interpret wrongly sometimes. Like a, almost a honey sweetness, maybe like clover honey. Breadiness. <clears throat> um, uh, some um, Unusual biscuity malt. Well, it's sort of coming around. It's coming around. Let's go with the flavor. And I've read no reviews previously, okay, before this review. I mean, they're there, but I haven't read them. Um, huh. The first impression is of the hops. I mean, it's like hop forward. You wouldn't think that. I don't know what the IBs are, but it's like bitter hops. Straightforward bitter hops coming from those fuggles. And some background biscuitiness and sweetness and like I said, that honey, maybe clover honey. <clears throat> hmm. I 
The mouthfeel is medium to heavy, more toward heavy. The finish is semi-dry or more like semi-wet. The drinkability is not bad. Um, but I mean, tell you what, this is really hoppy. Not too much lacing. I mean, it's got a noticeable bitterness. Oh, wow. As someone in England might say, wow, wow, wow. There, <laughs> there's a lot of cake sediment at the bottom of this bit. Let's go with the, you know, not being smart aleck, because that's the name of the beer. Let's go with the shaking. Oh, yeah, it's coming loose. I will shake a blind bitch. All right. Now, um. Okay, okay. Let's see if it's going to cloud it up. I believe it will. It's already cloudy. Hmm. 16.9 ounces, pretty big bottle. I think it was I think it was one a dollar 99 at Dornex for this. Probably used to be more, but they couldn't sell it. <laughs> Okay, that burp was sort of weak. It didn't really cloud it up. It just like particled it up. It just brought some bigger chunks in there. I don't know if you can see these chunks. It's crackling though. It made a little bit more of a white head. Or slightly off white. Well, I'll tell you what. Can't say this beer is uninteresting or dull. Um, I think I'm more inclined to like it than dislike it. I mean, it's a pretty decent deal. Mm. It's got that English style creaminess, hoppiness. Like I say, cellar mode, but that's a misapprehension of it. Yeah, this is pretty good stuff, man. After drinking that Dark Horse, though, I guess anything would be good, but I'm going to go straight up A-. I guess that's not really straight up, but I'm going to go with A-, minus, and I think I'm being a little too picky on it. I'm going to say the worst you could give this would be an A-, minus, and I will agree that's probably a too low, I'm probably lowballing it, but um, since they don't have a clear date, and it might be old, but I mean... It's at least an A minus. It's at least excellent, if not most excellent. So laissez les bon temps rouler. If you get a chance to find the blonde bitch or the blonde witch, whatever you run across, because I think it's probably the same beer. Check it out. You'll probably like it. And I'm gonna end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.